Hello boaters, welcome to Narrowboat Journeys. We're on the Ashby Canal at Hinkley and we're just approaching Bridge 15. And in this cycling video, I'm going to show you how to get from Bridge 15, which is by the Lime Kilns pub, to the town centre. Unfortunately, the Ashby Canal is never very close to the town centre. It's always a bit of a walk, and in this case it's about one and a half miles. It is walkable, it'll take about half an hour, but about ten minutes by bike. That's the pub on my right, and there are visitor moorings on either side of Bridge 15. But now we've got to go up the steps to the very busy A5 main road. There is a cycle lane and footpath along most of it. An alternative supermarket to go to is Oldie, which is 1.2 miles to the right here. The cycle lane pavement doesn't go all the way though. For part of that trip you will have to walk on the grass verge. But it's an, it's an alternative place to go shopping if, if that's all you want to do. I think before we go any farther we should have a look at the map. We're starting at Bridge 15 by the pub at the bottom of the map and then we're following the yellow trail all the way to Sainsbury's Cycle Parking which is close to the town centre. Most of this trip is actually off-road, it's only when we get to the, uh, the co-op and, and the railway line that we actually hit the roads. Just after the pub we turn left down a cycle lane and footpath and that makes a very pleasant shortcut. The last few videos I've posted have been quite cloudy and overcast so it's really nice to have some sunshine. This video was recorded in April. I should also mention once again that the wide angle lens on my camera here makes it look like I'm going a lot faster than I really am. As I said, it's about half an hour's walk to the town centre, but we will encounter some useful shops before we get there, so if you don't want to go that far, you can still get your important shopping done. I've got to cross over the road here, and then the cycle track continues on the other side. This is all very easy and pleasant, although the traffic does get pretty bad as we get closer to the town centre.
now I leave the cycle track and rejoin the roads. We turn right here. I carry on, but you can also turn left here. We meet at the same place a little bit farther on. Directly in front are a few shops. There's a co-op food shop. There's a large Bernardo's charity shop and a tool station and a couple other places as well. But we're turning left and now that left turn that I mentioned comes out just by the railway bridge here. So it's, it's an alternative route. Our trip now, basically, we just go straight on up this road. If you don't want to go to the town centre and you're just looking for a supermarket, then turn right at these traffic lights and there's a Tesco Superstore. Very close to the town centre now. I'm going to leave my bike at the Sainsbury's bike park. So obviously that's a good place to do shopping, but if you want to go to Lidl, you just take a left turn just up here. Just cut through the little walkway there called the Grove. And that's it. The town centre is generally sort of straight on and to the right of me here. So I hope you found this little video useful. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.